Seb, are you there? Good evening, Judith. Hi, how are you? I'm okay. How are you? I am just fine. Thank you so much for wanting to chat. You're most welcome. I, I, I think I'm ready for my snapshot. Oh, good. Okay, I'll turn. I'll be ready. Okay, let's do it. All right, I'll take that snapshot in three, two, one. Perfect. Enjoy the chat. All right, let's do this. Good. First off, um, congratulations on Night of the Living Dead. I watched it about a week or two ago before this conversation started. I thought it was re really well done. It, it did look scary, which is a good thing. So oh, I uh, well, I am so grateful. Was that the first time you've ever seen it? Yeah, it was the first time I watched it. We, you know what? Because it is so old, it is 53 years old, that you still enjoyed it and you found it scary or you got involved yeah. in the story that's that means a great deal to me thank you Seb. you're welcome anyways i've got some questions relating to night of the living dead sure yeah. and of course you're most famous for playing barbara in the classic zombie movie and how did you manage to maintain the character and keeping the fear and sense of being frightened well, uh, pretend has always been easier for me to do than real life, Seb, to be honest with you. When George Romero would tell us what he wanted in the scene, when he said action, there was just something in me that went in, went in to that character. And for whatever length of time I had to be that character, I was there. Um, also, if I had to be terribly, terribly frightened, which was a lot of the time, mm. I drew upon a movie I had seen when I was a little girl. It was called The House of Wax. I don't know if you saw our Q&A, but I, I mentioned I saw that. the Q&A. Yeah, that was a very powerful movie for me and really enabled me to, to become honestly frightened when I needed to be. It sure looks scary. I'll be sure to check that out um, before Halloween. Great. Uh, oh, good. Wax. That's wonderful. Anyways, next question. Um, uh, the movie, genre-wise, is described as an independent horror movie. Um, um, were there any problems and difficulties in trying to release the film in cinemas? Oh, one very difficult thing we had to contend with was the fact that when it was first released, it was released under a different name. I think it was Night of the Flesh Eaters. Well, really? immediate, yes, immediately the people who had made a movie called Flesh Eaters said to us, you cannot use that name. That mm. is a part of our film. We had to pull back all the prints, Zeb, and change the name on the movie. Of course, it was changed to Night of the Living Dead. But when the movie was re-released to the public, the people who released it forgot to put on the copyright. Oh, so really? For, yes. And do you know that that immediately went into public domain? Consequently, yeah, Image 10, who made the film, didn't see the profits or the royalties from that movie because it, it went into public domain. That is some really interesting facts. Oh, um, I'm glad you, oh, I'm glad I could share that with you. Thank you. And, and thank you, Judith, for letting me take the time to talk to you on Night of the Living Dead, as said by my poster behind me. Oh, Jeb, I, or Seb, I am so grateful that we had a moment to chat and uh, do have a wonderful Halloween. I will. Stay safe, stay healthy, and yeah, you bet I will. For you. Okay, bye. <laughs> I love it.